Hi alle zusammen, hello everyone. Welcome to Learn Norwegian with the Norwegian Language School. Today we will explain how to use weak verbs in Norwegian. Norwegian verbs can be classified into two main categories, weak verbs and strong verbs. The difference lies in how these verbs are conjugated in the past tense and the past particle. Weak verbs, also known as regular verbs, follow a consistent pattern in their conjugation. Strong verbs, on the other hand, often change the vowel in the past tense and past partic participle, following less predictable patterns. Conjugating weak verbs in Norwegian. Weak verbs in Norwegian typically fall into four main groups, each having a different conjugation rule. Group 1. These verbs end with et, et, et in the past particle. An example of this group is jobb, jobb, jobb works, which would be conjugated as o jobb, o jobb, o jobb, infinitive, jobb, 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 present tense, jobbet, 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 past tense, ha jobbet, ha jobbet, ha jobbet, present perfect, skal jobb, skal jobb, skal jobb present future. Group 2. These verbs end with te, -e, te, -e, te -e in the past particle. An example of this group is studere, 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 studies, which would be conjugated as o studere, o studere, o studere, infinitive, studere, 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 present tense, studete, 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 past tense, har studet, har studet, har studet, present perfect, skal studere, skal studere, skal studere, present future. Group 3, these verbs end with de, -e, de, -e, de -e in the past particle. An example of this group is over, over, over practices, which will be conjugated as or over, or over, or over, infinitive, over, 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 present tense, of the, of the, of the, past tense, har of, har of, har of, present perfect, skal over, skal over, skal over, present future. Group four, these verbs end with de de e, de de e, de de e in the past particle. An example of this group is bo, bo, bo lives, uh, conjugated as o bo, o bo, o bo, infinitive, bo, 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 present tense. Budde, 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 past tense. Ha bud, ha bud, ha bud, present perfect. Ska bo, ska bo, ska bo, present future. Using weak verbs in Norwegian sentences. Understanding the theory behind the conjugation of Norwegian weak verbs is important. But applying these rules in practical situation is what truly cements the knowledge. Here are some examples to guide you. Jeg elsker kaffe. Jeg elsker kaffe. Jeg elsker kaffe. I love coffee. Here, elsker, elsker, elsker is the present tense of the weak verb. Elsker, elsker, elsker. Hun jobbet i går. Hun jobbet i går. Hun jobbet i går. She worked yesterday. In this case, jobbet, jobbet, jobbet is the past tense of the weak verb jobbe, jobbe, jobbe. Vi ringer ham senere. Vi ringer ham senere. Vi ringer ham senere. We will call him later. Ringe, ringe, ringe here is the present tense of the weak verb ringe, ringe, ringe. De prøvde å hjelpe ham. 
De prøvde å hjelpe ham. De prøvde å hjelpe ham. They tried to help him. Prøvde, prøvde, prøvde. It's the past tense of the weak verb. Prøve, prøve, prøve. Norwegian weak verbs are a fundamental building block of the language, and learning them is a significant step in becoming proficient uh, in Norwegian. It's essential to memorize the conjugation patterns and practice regularly. As with any language, consistent uh, practice and real life applications uh, are the keys to mastering these concepts. And also, of course, taking uh, Norwegian classes. With time, patience, and regular practice, uh, the usage of weak verbs in Norwegian will become second nature. Do you want to learn more Norwegian? We are now offering a free Norwegian trial class. Sign up for a free trial class by going to our website, nlsnorwegian.no, nlsnorwegian.no.